Published, 5.40 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 7th of June 2018. Updated, 5.41 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 7th of June 2018. Princess Diana's handwritten letter in which she jokes about how she wanted a medal when she turned 30 is set to fetch $1,500, £1,100 at auction. In the letter, written in July 1990, Diana thanked fashion designer Bruce Oldfield and his business partner Anita Richardson for a jersey they had sent her for her 29th birthday. She even signed off the intimate note to the pair with a smiley face, followed by a kiss. The Princess of Wales enjoyed a close relationship with Oldfield, who often dressed her for glamorous events. The thank you note is being sold alongside three Christmas cards sent out by Prince Charles and Diana, featuring sweet family portraits. Princess Diana joked that she wanted a medal when she finally turned 30, in an intimate letter to friends. The cards, which are being sold online by US-based RR Auctions, are expected to sell for $800, 600 pounds each. In the letter written to Oldfield and Richardson, Diana wrote, What a wonderful jersey I have been given. The lot also includes a silk-bound hardcover copy of Earl Spencer's tribute to Diana Princess of Wales, published by Althorpe in 1997, following her death. Commenting on Diana's thank you note, Bobby Livingston, executive VP at RR Auction, said, Princess Diana's handwriting had a beautiful flourish, and her letters, a caring and loving tone. The letter has gone on sale alongside several Christmas cards, including this one from 1992. Another Christmas card, from 1989, features a sweet family portrait taken outside the card, embossed on the front with the Prince of Wales's feathers and the Spencer family arms, is hand-signed by Charles and Diana. Other items on sale include a silk-bound hardcover copy of Earl Spencer's tribute to St. Diana Princess of Wales, left, accompanied by a Letter, right, I think it was her open and engaging quality that made her so relatable. While it is a long-standing royal protocol not to give in-person autographs, they do allow for informal notes and letters. It will be interesting to see what content from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex appears as they begin their lives together. Bidding on the items is already open, with the sale ending on June 13th.